how I draw my sigils. Um, pretty much like a short tutorial of it. I see a lot of people go, oh, you have to do it this way, you gotta do it that way. No. You really don't. Like, the sigils should come from your heart and your mind. It's not that complicated. At least for me it isn't. So, this is going to be how I start it, ultimately. So I generally start with closing my eyes and picturing what I want the sigil to represent in my mind. And that will be the only thought in my mind, like completely. Nothing else is in my mind but the intent of this sigil. So I close my eyes and I just, as I'm thinking of what the, the intent is, I just let my pencil flow. Just generally, that's all it is. And then when I see what I have and I clean it, I kind of clean it up a bit and make it look a little bit nicer, like this. And generally, you just kind of take what you have, make it look pretty better, pretty much better. Which this actually is not that bad. I actually liked doing this one. And then the end result. Let me show you another example. So this one is the first one that I've made um, that's actually posted on this blog. So you can find it on there. So like I said, I just closed my eyes. I just let the pen flow as all I think in my mind is the intent of the sigil. This is what it ended up being. And then I moved it over. You can see I moved these parts closer together. This one went more in the center. Add a couple of lines and dots to make it look a little bit better, not as simplified like that. <laughs> and the end result. So really, it's not that hard to make a sigil, at least not for me. Um, that's pretty much how I do it. Everyone can make the sigil in their own ways that they want, but I did have someone ask how I did it. So I thought I'd demonstrate it, make it a little bit easier for you to follow along. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this is helpful to anyone who wants to follow these steps.